This is the second time BQ has sent me something unprompted and unannounced. No complaints, though. And I made it into something even better, a USB-C powered control center. First, let's get into the mystery package, decide how this is all going to work, and get printing. This new circular gadget was BQ's Panda Nomi. At first I thought it was an A1 exclusive, all the packaging suggested using it on the A1. Also, this video isn't sponsored by BQ, but they did send this to me for free. You'll get my honest opinion at the end of the video. Turns out this thing works on all the bamboo printers. Maybe not the H2D, but I don't have one to test it on. Hey BQ, I know we haven't been friends for a super long time, but I was just thinking if you wanted to maybe send me a Bamboo H2D to try out your new accessories on and make video reviews on about those, I just need a Bamboo H2D, so if you just wanted to send me one... It's equipped with an Espressive ESP32 controller, which controls this circular 1.28 inch 240x240 display. They have this little mount for the P1 series printers, which is fine, except I already have my Panda Touch in its place. The Panda Touch allows for full control of the printer, remotely, while the Panda Nomi shows cute little gifts. That's right, I said gifts. I give people birthday gifts, not birthday gifts. It's a G for graphic, and you don't say graphic, and I won't change my mind. So between rigging this thing to the front of my extruder and risking damage, and making a battery-powered bracelet or gauntlet, I decided to make a combination station. I've recently been printing Gridfinity stuff, so I decided to make this compliant to a 2x5. The top doesn't support magnets, but the bottom does. This is partially to avoid the magnets messing with anything, which realistically they wouldn't, and also because I got really lazy toward the end of this. Then it was time to print. I got this shot using the camera slider I printed in the last episode. Not many people watch that one, and almost none of my subscribers watch my videos. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and ask that you hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more mid-tier DIY projects. I printed this face down to get the logo looking beautiful, and used some PETG as a support interface. This stuff is awesome, way better than- The supports just pull away, leaving a beautiful clean layer. The internal one is even cooler, leaving behind what looks like mosquito netting that you'd see around an outdoor porch. Could I 3D print my own window screens? Maybe if I had that H2D. <coughs> BQ. <coughs> Next up was repurposing the stock mount for the Panda Touch. I wanted to use the charging plate, of course, and to attach it properly, I used the countersunk screws from the metal plate to affix it to the new Panda Station Alpha. The plate fits almost too well. I definitely didn't add super glue off camera on account of making the holes too large in the initial print which I later fixed for the uploaded model. Yep. Then I connected the charging cable to the back of the plate. I want this to be USB-C powered, so I got this female to female USB-A to C adapter. This will fit perfectly into a recessed slot on the side. It's very much a pressure fit part, but a little hot glue wouldn't hurt. I'll add a USB splitter to the adapter. This should allow me to connect both devices to a single port. Now for the Nomi. I made a partially recessed circular hole for this, and it's just ever so slightly loose so as not to damage the screen. At first this seems genius. In practice it doesn't do great because the top can still pivot back. Nothing a dab of hot glue won't fix though. I notice the top of this gets pretty warm. This is totally unnecessary and probably doesn't do much, but I have a bunch of these heat sinks laying around and they look pretty cool. I needed a cover for this. It was ugly around back and obviously I had to use magnets because of course. These are press fit magnets, but I took that a bit too literally. I needed to use a hammer to insert these, but if it works, it works. Moving right along, it's time to connect everything up. I'll connect the included USB-C cables from the Touch and Nomi to the USB splitter, which will then connect to the USB adapter. Following, hit the like button if you are. Now, the finishing touch, quite literally. I'll magnetically attach the Panda Touch to the now recessed charging plate. Absolutely flawless. I love this thing. This looks like a proper product. The screen will allow me to control the printer, while the circular Nomi will show me adorable little gifts that I can customize through the web interface. And with it being Gridfinity compliant, it can match perfectly with the other components I'm printing. Time for the first run, and to get things connected. It's stunning. I immediately changed the idle animation to something a bit more ambient and nebulous, but this is great. I like that I can glance at the animation and know what the printer is doing, especially when the hot end is just chilling over the poop chute looking like nothing's happening. This is also portable. I can place it at whichever desk I happen to be working at. 
I really do wish the Panda Touch had camera access, but that's for another time. So the Nomi, what do I think? Well, it's a neat accessory. I don't think it's a must-have item, but I think it's a clever and innovative gadget for people who like to tinker and customize their workspace. The only odd thing that I really noticed is that the Panda Nomi really, really prefers half an amp through the charging cable. Anything more than half an amp or anything less, and it basically just doesn't turn on. That's not a problem, it just requires finding a very specific brick to power it all. The Panda Nomi's web interface is actually pretty intuitive. It allows you to customize all the different GIFs, and you can upload your own, so long as they're at least 240 by 240. It's worth mentioning I printed this Panda Station Alpha using BQ's CryoGrip cold plate. I really need to go back and update my video about this plate, as it has since become my absolute favorite. I use it for nearly every print, and it always gives a much better finish than the textured PEI. I love it for keychains, logos, or anything with text. I've also found myself using the Panda Touch more often. It's incredibly handy for quickly assigning filaments or stopping a failing print. The Nomi always being on and showing the completion percentage of the current print is more useful than I initially realized. The Panda Station Alpha is available for free exclusively on Maker World right now, so if you've got a Panda Touch and a Panda Nomi, but no idea how to attach more things to your printer, well, I've got the solution for you. All right, you made it this far in the video, so hopefully I've got your attention, but I'm going to give you a short update. I sent BQ an email and I said, hey BQ, you keep sending me free stuff and I keep making videos on it. What are we going to do next? Do you want to make a partnership here? Do you want to make a video together? Do you want to go on a date? And uh, well, the last part was ignored, but Gloria from BQ did respond and said, hey, why don't you join our affiliate program? You share our link, people go there, they buy some stuff, and you get a little portion of that sale. So it sounds pretty good. So down below in the description, you will find a link to BQ's website where if you purchase any of these items that you want, I get a small portion of it. And that goes directly into the Taptic Digital Taptic Bank. And that Taptic Bank is only tapped into when I need to get better audio equipment, better lighting, more printer materials, more printers, better camera gear, and all kinds of channel related stuff. So if you click the link below, buy something from BQ, that really helps support the channel. But what helps support it even more is hitting that subscribe button because the more subscribers I have, the more likely I'm going to get a sponsor who's going to give me a Bamboo H2D. And I really want to get a Bamboo H2D. I want to fill this room with smoke from the laser cutter. I want to print things that smell terrible. But I can't do that without your help. Maybe click the like button to let YouTube know that I did something. And uh, keep an eye out for more mid-tier DIY videos from yours truly, Chris at Taptic Digital.